Oh yeah, special delivery. She showed up at the shop right before it was time to leave, so I wasn't about to do any unboxing there. But uh, I brought her home. We're gonna unbox it at the house. Let's see what it is, Kay. What do we got? We got brown boxes. There's a reason I'm unboxing these at the house. There's a reason why I brought them home. You're about to find out here in a minute. Looks like it says Maestro X9. Shut up! I'm done unboxing in my living room in a long time. It's kind of dark in here. So I am going to bring this stuff to the other living room, even though this is the living room that it's going to be in. So one box at a time and a steak knife. Get this stuff unwrapped. Get it hooked up. Or at least look at it for now. I don't even know where to start with hooking it up just yet. Of course I got the steak knife, but this one I stole out of the drawer. It's not one of the originals, but it'll do. Just don't tell the wife. Oh, look at this! <laughs> oh, look at it! In case you don't know, this is the Audio Control Maestro X9. I feel like I want to pull it out of here, but I want to open up those other two boxes first. And then we'll unbox all of them the rest of the way. Let's do that. Now if I'm right, these things are my amplifiers. heavier than that one. Definitely an app in here. Do not use hooks, avoid refrigeration, and do not deep fry or saute. I'll try to remember that. Alright, this is the one I want first. Right, here we go. This is definitely a once in a lifetime home audio system. For somebody like me anyways. I can never dream of having something like this. Oh. It's got a book. Maestro X9. We'll open that up and take a look at it here in a minute. Look at the back of this thing. Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you in a second. That is.
Look at it. It's beautiful. Well, it's got antennas. It's got some antennas. I think it's got built-in Wi-Fi or something, probably. A USB cord, a power cord, an audio control, remote control. That is, I never had an audio control remote control before. Look at that. Ooh, some batteries too. Nice. Some more antennas. Some more wires. Look at this thing. That's a lot of inputs. That's a lot of outputs. But the fun is really going to begin here in a second. Because I got two boxes and they have amps in them. Oh, that's a lot heavier. I'm feeling like there's going to be a amp opening on these things real soon. I want to see what's inside of these. We ain't going to do it today though. Ready? So as you can see, this is a amplifier, five channels. It's a home theater setup. Beautiful amplifier. We're going to get a little closer here in a few minutes, but I want to get all this stuff unboxed first. Oh, this one feels heavier than that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There they are. Seven channels. So we got 12 channels for my home theater. Yes, I know this room is really sucky for an unboxing, but it's the brightest room I have right now. Normally I do this at the shop, but it's staying here, so I shall do it here. Inputs, outputs, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Then you got your amplifiers that are just in and out, the way we like it. Now I'm for sure going to do a more in-depth review on these. I'm going to hook it all up. I'm going to tell you guys what I think. The difference between my Onkyo all-in-one that I've had for a few years that I've always had all-in-ones. I don't really have a lot of home theater expertise, but this right here is beyond dream come true for me. I feel like I'm in heaven. I can't wait to hook it up. I'm going to have to run get an entertainment center that's worthy of this thing and a couple more speakers for the surround because I have so many channels that I'm going to need something to hook them up to. The living room right now has clips towers, clips surround, and I've got one set of Atmos up top. So it's not bad, but I want to make it even better. Uh, my entire living room is in shambles right now. Got the entertainment center down there, had to cut some holes in it in order to fit the amps and the receiver and the CD player, and I got more holes to cut yet. So. I didn't really want to film this part, but now that it's starting to look good, I think I will. We got the amps here right on deck. We got the speakers on deck. Everything's good to go. Looks like a tornado came through here, but we're good. So I already cut a couple of those holes. Got to cut a couple more, and we'll start hooking up some wires.
Hard to see because it's dark in here. But everything's just kind of poking through. Now it fits in there flush. It's going to stick out from the wall about two inches, but that's okay. TV's sticking out a couple inches as well, so it should work out great. So I got 12 of these things to rip apart, start hooking up. They're going to go from the receiver to the amps and then of course from the amps out to the speakers all over the place got my living room looks like a cyclone hit it it's all good though it'll be nice here pretty soon well there's two I got ten more to go all right, front left Okay, so I've got all the HDMI's to run. I gotta put the PlayStation up. We need a new CD player for over there or some sort of a media thing, which don't really need a heck of a lot because this thing does everything down here. And I don't have a lot of CDs anymore. All right, here's the setup right now. No wires hooked up at all. All right, I like the new setup, but the old 25 year old CD changer has to go. I was just plugging that hole with it. It does work, but I was plugging the hole with it as well. It just looks ugly alongside of those audio control units. So I made the decision not to do 7.2.4 and to get a four channel Avalon app to go in that hole. And we're gonna be running 9.2.4. So this is the missing piece to my puzzle. Now I previously thought 12 channels was going to be plenty until I saw that the X9 has 16 channels out. So I was like, man, I got to use at least some of those. I'm going to have a couple left over when this is all said and done. Or maybe I'll buy up one of these. I think I could buy up them. Maybe I'll end up doing that. But we'll see. I thought it was going to be a lot lighter because it's four channels. It's not a lot lighter. It's heavy. Might be hard to see on camera, but this glass is bowing from this four channel amp. Gonna have to do something about that. We'll put some acrylic in here, like a little acrylic support. Another sheet should be good. I'll just call that in. All right, we got all four of them in here. Everything is fairly even. The Avalon's a little bit smaller than the other ones, but it's okay, it still matches. That thing is making the glass sag. So I got some quarter inch acrylic. Gonna support it a little bit with that. That doesn't amp. It's crushing this glass. So we will put this in there to help support it. Let's see if that helps. That thing.
It's still sagging a little bit, but it's not gonna crush it. All right, we got all four of them in here. Everything is fairly even. The Avalon's a little bit smaller than the other ones, but it's okay, it still matches. Left tower, center, right tower, subwoofer, right surround, surround wide, rear, that's a tower back there. We got rear Atmos up there. We got another tower back there. We got wide surround, we got front surround, whatever the hell it's called. And back over here, we got the front Atmos. 9.2.4. This is going to be fun. So for right now, this is what it's looking like. I got a whole bunch of wires I have to hook up. That's going to be the next video. For now, I'm out of here. I got a lot of work to do.